Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 8th. It's the third week in Lent and week five in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 86, and Genesis 46, verse 1 through 7, and 28 through 34. Now join me, please, in singing the second verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Our God is God and God alone, who does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. Psalm 86. And please recite it with me. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save your servant that trusts in you. Be merciful to me, I cry to you daily. Rejoice the soul of your servant. To you do I lift up my life. For you are good and ready to forgive, and merciful to all that call on you. Give ear to my prayer, O beloved, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I call on you, and you answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, neither are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, and shall glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. <clears throat> Teach me your ways. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart with yours, that I may fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy toward me, and you have delivered me from deepest hell. The proud have risen against me. The assemblies of the violent have sought my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you are a God full of compassion, gracious, long-suffering, merciful, and truthful. Turn to me and have mercy. Give me your strength and save me. Show me a sign of your goodness that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you have helped me and comforted me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Bend your ear, my God, and hear me. I am poor and needy. A reading from Genesis, chapter 46, beginning at verse 1. When Israel set out on his journey, with all that he had, and came to Beersheba. He offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. God spoke to Israel in visions of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here I am. And then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make of you a great nation there. I myself will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also bring you up again and Joseph's own hand shall close your eyes. And then Jacob set out from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried their father Jacob, their little ones and their wives, in the wagons that Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They also took their livestock and the goods that they had acquired in the land of Canaan. And they came into Egypt, Jacob, and all his offspring with him, his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his son's daughters, all his offspring, he brought with him into Egypt. Israel sent Judah ahead to Joseph to lead the way before him into Goshen. And when they came to the land of Goshen, Joseph made ready his chariot 
and went up to meet his father in Goshen. He presented himself to him, fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. Israel said to Joseph, I can die now, having seen for myself that you are still alive. Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household, I will go up and tell Pharaoh and will say to him, My brothers and my father's household, who were in the land of Canaan, have come to me. The men are shepherds, for they have been keepers of livestock, and they have brought their flocks and their herds, and all that they have. When Pharaoh calls you and says, What is your occupation? You shall say, Your servants have been keepers of livestock from our youth, even until now, both we and our ancestors, in order that you may settle in the land of Goshen, because all shepherds are abhorrent to the Egyptians. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Comfort and help us, O beloved God. Teach us your ways, that we may walk in your truth. And in your tender mercy, save us by your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.